Finally, welcome to our free bike service course. And today we're talking about, we're doing the tubeless tires and we will see both road bike and the mountain bike. This is the front wheel, which has already been sealed. Then the rear one will do quick experiment with sealing the rear road bike wheel without anything. No sealant, no spongy water, nothing. And just the floor pump. We'll see if we can do it. And then we'll go over to the 29er hardtail mountain bike and we'll seal um, the tires for that bike. Here's our wheel. This is the Elite Wheels Drive. Oh, they, they look amazing on my six years old Cannondale K10. I'm not upgrading my frame set because it's an awesome bike. It's been, it had been the best bike Cannondale ever made, the road bike. Uh, this wheel is tubeless ready with the tape already on and with the tubeless valve already on as well. I'm going to show you how is, does it look like and what do we need in order to get a tubeless kit for the road bike, which means we'll be riding a little bit uh, quicker than on the with the tube uh, setup because of less resistance. There, is, there will be no friction between the tire and the tube because there is no tube and we'll have better traction, we'll have a little bit lower pressure and of course much better puncture resistance. For the tubeless system we need airtight rim, airtight tire and airtight rim tire connection. Thus uh, the tire bead and the wall of the rim have special shapes and, and uh, design. We also have the tape already on this wheel so I didn't have to do anything with it and as I said this valve is also tubeless. If we didn't have tape, then we use a special tubeless rim tape or an electrical tape. Yes, we can use this one. I would of course use a wider one. Uh, this has been used for, um, I think, ending uh, the bar tape. But yes, uh, it, it's a hack. This is not doing it by the book. This one, the electrical tape, will not have as good glue as the special rim tape. Uh, it might be a little bit more tricky to do it with this one, but it's possible to seal the wheel and it can hold the air for months. I've done several bikes with the electrical tape. And then we need a tire. There are tubeless and non-tubeless tires. I've ordered the Schwalbe Pro one, the more expensive one, and the Schwalbe One. We'll also be putting Schwalbe One uh, because it's got the tubeless easy system on some of my other training bikes, but today we are, we are using the Pro One. Yes, it is possible to seal many of the non-tubeless ready tires. Uh, I've done it with many, many uh, mountain bike tires. Those non-tubeless tires, Schwalbe well, calls it tubeless easy, uh, will have little holes in them. And so our sealant will have to seal not only the connection between the rim and the tire, but also the tire itself. This is why we say that those tires will sweat for a while. And now we'll try to seal this one with nothing, just the pump and the air. Okay, let's do it. Two tricks with assembling the tubeless system. Number one, if your tire feels like it's bent out of the box, it doesn't really fit your um, rim and its walls and there's just too many holes you cannot seal them it's okay to put your tires on the sunny place for 20 minutes it's really okay if you do it in the summer if you do it in some really hot areas uh, on our earth uh, just do it and the second one my opinion better and more important if you have difficulties to seal the tire and the rim tape then you just put the rim tape on the rim, put the tire you want to seal on the rim and then use the inner tube for 24 hours. So put the inner tube in, close the system, pump it almost to the maximum uh, pressure you can, you can uh, use on your rim and tire and the inner tube. Maybe not super max, but quite a lot. Why? Because the pressure in your inner tube will both seal your tire into the rim, it will press against it, and it also will seal your rim tape against the rim. So if you, if you have difficulties to seal the system, just like that, 
use 24 hours with the inner tube, everything can change then. Okay, let's take our Schwalbe Pro 1 and seal it. I like to match the valve with some graphics on the tire. So this is how I do it. Then also we need to know the direction of uh, the wheel spinning and the tire spinning. My wheel will spin in this direction like that. And here is the direction of our rotation. And one more thing, I will start installing my tire on the opposite side to the valve. It's easier that way. And the other side, opposite to the valve. One more trick, push the bit of the tire into the center of the rim. Remember that the bead of the tire has to be on both sides of the valve. I need to fix this. Uh-huh. No water, no sealant, no nothing. Let's try. Ha! No problem, baby. <laughs> of course, it wouldn't be that easy with the mountain tire, which is much wider here. It's easier to seal. Now we can do it for good. And I know my friends, you're gonna ask me, Danny, why do you use water since your tire has already been sealed? I wanna have as little friction between my bead of the tire and the rim as possible because I don't want my tire out of true, just like it is right now. So this is not for sealing purpose, it's for installing purpose or truing purpose. Now I need to seal the tire once again because I just wanted to show you that I can do it without the water. These noises mean that our tire is getting into its place. It's time for the sealant. Air out, but the tire stays sealed. Now the valve core, the valve a little bit higher. For such a tire, we use between 60 and 90 milliliters. I'm gonna use about 70. This is 60, so it will be full bottle and 10, 15 milliliters, milliliters. Zaczyna krzepnąć, pamiętacie? Krzyp... Ok, you already know we can use floor pump to seal this wheel with this tire with no sealant. You can use such a pump, I do like it. But I'm gonna show you a little booster. It's actually a water bottle, it's steel one. Uh, you can inflate it uh, up to 11 bar and it will blow the air into our wheel. Normally you want to remove the valve core for this bottle so that it will have more speed uh, when it gets uh, into the rim. But here the valve is too short for this kind of uh, bottle so I'm gonna use it with the, this insert. 10 bars. Three to one, contact. Oops. I'm gonna pump it to 85 PSI. Okay. We're gonna check now whether the tire is perfectly in place. Yes, it is. Is it difficult? It is tubeless easy. The advantage of the road tires on the tubeless system is that it's way more easy to uh, seal them. Uh, and even though I told you, yes, you can use the electrical tape, 
uh, in order to do the tubeless kind of hack cheaper system. Uh, it's not dangerous. I would not recommend using non-tubeless rims or tires. In this case, on, on, the, on the road bike, high speed, if the tire gets off the rim, you can be injured really badly or be dead. So don't do it. And now, mountain bike. Ladies and gents, an inexpensive upgrade which really makes sense. Listen to the sound first. When you hear such a sound, it means that this tire was already sealed on the rim. We are replacing the old alloy wheel set with the new one, also aluminum but much wider rims and 600 grams lighter. And here is something to remember from this lesson, even though it's not strictly about sealing the tires. On a budget bike, the wheel set will be the first thing that you might want to upgrade because the wheels will be the weakest point of that bike, most likely. You can see the difference in the rim width right here. We've got Dandy Horse 27.3 versus wow. 22.8, huge difference, and the new ones are 600 grams lighter. My customer will run lower tire pressure, will have better puncture protection and will have much better traction. He already called me and said, huge difference on this hardtail. Now why do I seal the tire twice? Listen to this. All these sounds mean that the wheel is getting airtight. Once again, I want to make sure that this tire and this wheel combo fits, which is not always the case, even with the tubeless system. Just for the sealing process, we use higher air pressure than we'll be using during riding. This particular tire jumped into its place by 1.8 bar. Race. This is the version of Stan Snow Tubes, which is able to seal a little bit larger cuts. And I wanted to show you how beautifully do I do it with my syringe, but this sealant has such a large particles that they actually seal my syringe before they get into the tire. This is the disadvantage of using this type of the sealant because I had to open up the tire again, which was already sealed. Now I'm just marking about 110 milliliters of the sealant on this glass. And this is how it gets into the tire. I will have to seal the system again. Now it's time to check whether the tire, not the rim itself, is true. You can watch it when the wheel is spinning and also observe the line on the sidewall of the tire. Each tire will have such a line. Now I'm distributing the milk all over the inside of the tire and the rim, making it airtight and it's time for the front wheel. Same thing, putting the tire on, putting some water. You can also add some soap to it. It holds on the air down to really low pressure. And that's the main difference between the tubeless and non-tubeless system. The tubeless tire plus tubeless rim means really strong connection. Question, can tubeless tires have some holes? Like you can see right here. Yes, some of the tires can have little holes and the sealant shoe should seal them with no problem. I had three or four holes in the new Schwalbe one tire. I love shiny sidewalls on the tires, so my customer will get one. We've got it, the lesson about tubeless systems and three testing questions. Question number one. What is the advantage of the tubeless system over the one with the inner tube? Question number two. What is the most common mistake in sealing the tire which will make doing it with just a floor pump impossible? And question number three. Have you actually thought about it? Why do we seal the tire twice? before and after putting the sealant into it. That's it, I hope you know the answers and I'm gonna meet you in the next lesson. See you guys!